Good evening and thanks for joining us. A recent string of arsons in Terre Haute has one community concerned. Neighbors say those fires have left one piece of property in their neighborhood an eyesore. And now they're looking for answers. It's a request that made its way into the News 10 newsroom. And tonight, News 10's Hunter Petroviak finds some answers. It's today's top story. This property on Fifth Avenue in Terre Haute has been struck by arsonists not once, but twice. Neighbors like Larry Grendel are frustrated with the property and want something done. It's not good. It's just, it just you just come home to a mess every night. I mean, it's just not a good thing. The second time this house was hit by arsonists, the houses on either side didn't get so lucky. It damaged the roof vents and a little bit of the roof on our house. Then the neighbor's house, it melted the siding completely off and shed some roof damage up front. Grendel says that the city came in about five months ago and tore this house down, and he's thankful they came and did that, but wishes they would do more. They did a good job by tearing it down, but now we're stuck with a mess that stinks and smells and the bugs and animals and the trash dump is beside us. Now we just need to resolve this problem and get it cleaned up. Grindle and his neighbors now have an answer about the property. The city submitted the property through the blight elimination program back in May, and now they're waiting on the state funds to remove the debris from the property. Grindle hopes the swing of arsons in his neighborhood come to an end. It's not a good trend. I don't like to see by his properties burn by no means, and I just wish they'd catch who's done it. Preventing other properties from becoming an eyesore. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia. Hunter Petroviak, News 10. If the city had gone in and removed the debris before receiving the plight elimination funds, the city would have had to pay all of the costs of cleaning the property.